had the first show, we had the Believe show, we were trying to come up with something that could be better than the Believe show. It was her last time that she's touring, this is her last time out, so we wanted it to be very fabulous and huge and as, as sherryest as possible. We started thinking about things and nothing much came. We had lots of discussions about what the show should be. And then Dory and I saw a picture of a Gaudi church and then everything kind of falls into place. Once you get a couple of things, Big pieces of puzzle everywhere, and then you scoot one in, and you scoot one in, and you start making pictures. Well, we get in probably about 8 o'clock in the morning first thing we have to do is set up our work area because we always have sewing to do every day. We've always got repairs. Honey, are you looking for some trouble tonight? All right. And then we start the laundry right away because we've got about six, eight loads of laundry every day. Costuming is, is part of who Cher is. It's, it's a fantasy. It's everyone's fantasy to be able to change your hair color and change your clothes and, you know, change your image. And I think no one does it better than she does. We've got wigs to take care of. We have hats to take care of. We've got shoes and boots. Come on, baby, show me what that loaded got is for. If you can give it, I can take it. Cause if this heart is gonna break, it's gonna take a lot to Cher has also always been known as a fashion icon and as a, a trendsetter. You know, she was the one that really created bell bottoms and brought them back to America. The opening clothes are already in their dressing room because uh, that's what they get into at the top of the show, so we want to make sure that that's taken care of right away. But the second outfit that they go into is uh, this very elaborate costume. Very colorful, a lot of um, antique Indian fabrics. And after that, we go into Bang Bang. And you've got these beautiful tattoo unitards. And then we go into a whole another number. Got the seventies disco dresses. For Cher, nothing is too outrageous, you know, and I think the more outrageous that you can be with her, it's fun. It's fun for her, it's fun for the audience. So we wanted to bring everyone into her magical world. When you lift, you're okay. It'll be good. It's all that smoke up in there. Whatever. <laughs> hey. Want to see me get naked? Go. <laughs> I think Cher is legendary. I think she's a living legend. And the more I work with her, the more that I do this show, the more I realize how legendary she is. I think my favorite thing so far is going on the dancer's bus and playing Taboo and the Mafia and the Sheriff and just screaming for six hours. We just, we screamed the whole time. I was completely hoarse afterwards. And you are a? A dancer, a shared, and the sharest show on earth. <laughs> and of course, the dancers are completely insane. I think we'll all be sad at the last show. Um, and I think also we'll be enriched because we will have all gotten something special from this experience.
she had this idea she wanted to do this, you know, big, extravagant, like, you know, like she wears the top hat and the coat. So she wanted to be like master of ceremonies in a circus. Because it's like a perfect thing, these big, huge venues to put stuff up in the air. Yeah, we were, we had a big drifting. Yeah, they're so sweet. You have to develop your hand strength. Because like the fabric is thin. It's like squeezing your shirt or something. And that's what you're holding on to with your body weight. You get really strong because you have to. It takes a lot of strength. To be up there and make it look like nothing, you have to be so strong. My favorite part of the show is a part that I'm actually not in. It's the bang, bang number before I come out. I like watching the red silks and watching everyone get turned around and seeing the girls up in the top. It's a lot, a lot of work to make a show like this happen. And also, I think that what takes its toll on people is being on the road is difficult. It's really fun and it seems glamorous, but it's a lot. You're moving constantly. You're sort of like this band of gypsies. I love the feeling of being in the air. It's great. Did it all believe tour. A little scary back then, but now it's really fun. It's a breeze. It's really fun. You should try it. Addie and, and Kevin do this roll down where they do five, they do five spins from up at the top of this fabric to about six feet above the stage. But if you wrap wrong at the beginning, you're just out of there. You're just like boo 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 splat. <laughs> you can't play. You can't play with this. But I'm not over men will come around. And Okay, there's a hundred of us. There's 80 people that we pick up from the actual town that are crew people that help us with, you know, making sure the stage is fine and the lights are fine and, you know, extra people to help our riggers. You know, there's millions of people. How long have you been with Chef? 13 years. Since I was 12. <laughs> it's, it's all the way live, I'm telling you. It's, Pump up. We're here. It's, it's showtime. We got rock! I would like to go on camera saying that I, I owe everything to Paul Merkovich. Yes. Yes. And I, I get the checks every week. It's all very nerve-wracking. But somehow we're going to find a way to relax and get through this. Oh, suits you, sir. Hiya! tonight. Everything's great. It's going to be just fantastic. The show is the, the, the only two hours that I have where I don't actually have to talk to any of these guys, so... <laughs> it feels so great, man. We just got off the sound check and everybody's pumped. We're ready to go. Do you believe? She's <laughs> number one. Believe. She's unique. She's like she does whatever she wants. She's free to do whatever. The best. So. The best. The best. Oh hi. How you doing? 
you nervous? Frankie? Okay. I'm nervous. I feel like I've never done the show before. Actually, I feel like I've never gone on stage before. I feel like I've been a librarian until now. Are we questions? Okay, see you later. I put a tape on. Tonight I watched Analyze This. I actually don't watch it, I just listen to it. And then I just start painting my face. Five minutes, ladies, five minutes. It's all about the sparkle. I guess I got about 20 sparkles. Please. Yeah, we gotta do a show. Two minutes, two minutes. I'm cool as a cucumber. <laughs> you put that gum in your mouth. <laughs> Everybody ready? We're ready. We're getting there. What, what are we doing? Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, show. Yeah. Oh, Thank you, Nick Hood. Tour, yeah. Tour, Tour manager off. extraordinaire. First ride. Right. Big rock show. Yeah, Tim, I just want to clear that area. We're ready to, uh, ready to walk. Oh, don't let him. <laughs> <laughs> you I in terms of your escape. <laughs> <laughs> use that. I love it. Well, then I come in here and I vocalize and sign autography things. And sometimes I meet people. A lot of the time I meet people before, little kids, grown-ups, you know, <laughs> sign things, take pictures. Okay, everybody looking at me. One, two, three. Hello, miss. Oh, How are you? Oh, my God. <laughs> look at you and look at you. <laughs> On three. One, two, three. My relationship with Cher is very close, but really very, very close. And I think that because we are so close, I can interpret what she would like to have happen. You know, whatever the movement is that she would like to see, or the lights, or the set, or costume design. I think that I'm a good interpreter of her desires, you know, and so we've had an incredible collaboration for many, many years and hopefully many, many more. <laughs> we met in 1987. She saw me in the movie Dirty Dancing and she wanted dance lessons. And so I was called to go to her house to give her dance lessons for a video. And we became very close friends at that time. And I was the assistant choreographer on her first tour. And then she asked me to choreograph and direct her subsequent tour, so I did. We all hold hands and we just get very close, get energy feels going among ourselves because we've got to go out there and be one huge unit and really larger than life and then we just rev up kind of like a football team. Nice we have to go out there and we just be cool and hope that we remember everything and we, I'm just saying me, hope that I remember everything, hope that everybody's good, everybody is great in this show. Anyway, we've done this show a million times great. And that's what you always have to remember. That's what I'm focusing on. That's what I have to remember. So we've done this show a million times great. The object of doing this show is to give everyone a fabulous time. And I think that's, that's always our main objective. That's always what we accomplish. We have to remember to be grateful that we're able to do it. And that we usually always start here. We always end here. <laughs> and we're going to be doing it for a long time. Yeah. Okay? Sure. So we want to put it down. We want people to look at it and have a great time. Yes. And we just want to go out there and be cool. Yes. You know? yes. So what do we say? Amen. <laughs> Uh, 
go out there. And then James puts my harness on, Andrea checks it, and, and then we go out. Hug Courtney. I rub Malcolm's head. And I look up at CB, and I've already seen James, see Hoodie. And then I get my coat on, stand in the chandelier, which takes me up in the sky. They hook me up to the chandelier. CB gives me a yank, so I know that I'm actually hooked on because one night everything was awful, and so I was hanging in the air. So now I always like to know that I'm hooked up. And uh, then Dory comes up, and she has a little oil, and she writes things on my arm. O, E for energy and gratitude and sprinkles for everyone. And then they start the music. And Dory and I go like this and we hold hands and we say our little silent thing. Jen brings me something to drink, and then I push, go up in the air. How many feet, I don't know. And then I just stand there, hoping that the big silk is not gonna catch on the chandelier. show is the great part. Everything that goes around it is the part that's the work. every sense of the word, and I think she's lived such an amazing life. She loved no, her No, she hair. was great because she was human, and she really talked to the audience a lot, and she didn't just sing. I love the costumes. Costumes are really cool. There are 11 costume changes in the show, and each one of them is a complete change. It's with shoes, with hair. <laughs> Most of those changes take place in about a minute. So I think she's the quick change artist of all time. <laughs> Every hand is moving, everybody's moving as fast as they can to get jewels on, to get hair sorted and combed and lipstick and you know, whatever it takes to make it happen. They do it, they are an amazing team. Let you learn a 
favorite thing to wear is the turnback tie Because I'm very sassy. It's better than ever. What I liked the best was her body. She looks wonderful. Her body is still smoking. She's great. Turn back time. <laughs> you gotta go. Oh, that was awesome. awesome. It was great. It's the best concert ever. Great. The best ever. The retrospective of the career was, was really stunning. The movie clips, everything. It's all the old songs that she Oh, that was great. That was Wasn't great. that great? That was amazing. And sing Sunny again. Favorite songs, I have two favorite songs, Song for the Lonely and Strong Enough. She's still around, you know, after 40 years. It's the best thing about the show. Everybody was fabulous. We rocked, we rocked hard. I'm tired now, that's good. Now I feel like, oh, thank you. Now I feel like better. I've learned so much from her. She's, she's taught me so many things about, you know, life and about uh, show business and, and just about actually having fun, you know, having the most fun and loving what you do. I got one thing to say to Cher, baby, don't go. I don't want to do it anymore because I feel that this is a great one and I would rather go out on a great one. And I think that there's a certain time where you just have to stop doing things, especially when you're still doing it well. I would not like to come back and have people say, oh, it wasn't as good as her last tour. And I think that, you know, this is my best show, so it's, it's better to quit now. I mean, I want to do other things. I just don't want to do this anymore. Toodaloo.